Hello, this is Andy Edwards and welcome to the second um, episode of Don't Forget. Last uh, week I looked at the 11th house. Today I'm going to be looking at a couple of other albums that often get forgotten, uh, especially in the world of jazz fusion. Um, as a jazz fusion fan growing up, so often I would go into the record shop and buy a jazz fusion album only to get it home and find it was a sort of another middle of the road smooth jazz album and it's really a frustrating thing to happen so um it's great to point people to the heavy stuff uh and today i'm going to be saying don't forget the first two lenny white solo albums so lenny white's um incredible drummer played on bitches brew and then um joined chick Corea in uh, return to forever um and those albums are really well known amongst jazz fusion fans um, around about what year would it be? So this is um, the first one, 1975. So just before he did um, Romantic Warrior, he releases his own solo album, Venusian Summer. This is one of my favourite. This here is one of my favourite jazz fusion albums of all time. Absolutely incredible. And I thought we've got to remember it. Um, so a whole host of incredible players on it. It opens up with chicken fried steak, which is very funky, but very twisted. It's got Doug Roush on bass. Now Doug Roush is on this album. Doug Roush has been forgotten amongst bass players, I think. Uh, he should be up there with Jaco Pastorius or Stanley Clark. Because in the 70s, Doug Roush was one of the go-to uh, bass players. And the reason was is because he'd invented this double thumb technique, which Victor Wooten went on to do. Uh, but Doug Roush is playing in incredibly fluid, fast lines. And if you want to check out Doug Roush and get this album, because he's, he's absolutely incredible. Like, so yeah, Doug Roush on bass, Doug Rodriguez on guitar, Ray Gomez, another amazing 70s fusion guitarist, Ray Gomez. You know, um, you play with Stanley Clark. He's on uh, Garden of Love Light with uh, Narada Michael Walden, really incredible guitarist. And, um, Jimmy Smith's on the organ on the first track here, Lenny, and then in Lenny White on drums. So that's the incredible lineup on the first track, very funky. Then there's another funky track called Away Go Troubles Down the Drain, which has got, again, Doug Rodriguez. Got David Sanchez on keyboards, so again, to play with Stanley Clark. Does incredible mini Moog solo. Weldon Irvin on organ. Alan Gums on electric piano. Doug Roush again on bass, another really incredible funky track. And then suddenly the album changes mood. Uh, when I read reviews of this when I was a kid, they, they, it was like they were saying Lenny White couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do. They totally got it wrong. It's just amazing what he does on this because just when it settles, he goes somewhere else. And you get um, what is called the Venusian Summer Suite, which is dedicated to the crew of the Starship Enterprise. And part one is called Sirens. And it's basically um, Lenny White's playing Mini Moog, an EU synthesizer, ARP 2006. Patrick Gleason, who worked with Han Herbie Hancock, is on EU uh, synthesizer, Mini Moog. Um, Peter Robinson on synth, ARP 26. So you get this incredible synth track. You know, those of you who are into your 70s analog synths, you've got to hear Sirens by um, Lenny White on this. Absolutely incredible. And then it drops into the Venusian Summer Suite, which is this absolutely gorgeous orchestral, funky jazz track, jazz fusion track, which has got all that sort of electronica stuff going on. It's also got Hubert Laws on flute. Absolutely beautiful track. Incredible side. But then when you turn it over onto side two, it goes up a gear. It's absolutely incredible album this is. Um, you get Delta to the Rainbow, Prelude, sorry, Prelude to the Rainbow Delta, which is a short piece, again, um, which is this sort of mad electronica stuff, and then suddenly it drops into the mating drive. And the mating drive is basically one of the most vicious, brutal jazz fusion tracks. Um, a million miles an hour, Doug Rash is playing the bass at a million miles an hour, Lenny White's playing the bass, uh, the guitars at a million miles an hour. And Ray Gomez just plays one of the most intense jazz fusion guitar solos ever. It's, you've got to hear this track. If you're into jazz fusion, you've got to hear this. Absolutely incredible. It's got Larry Young from Tony Williams' Lifetime on, on an organ. Um, I need some incredible spacey organ playing, as you would expect. And then the album finishes up with um, 
Prince of the Sea, which um, features Tom Howell on flugelhorn, uh, Doug Rausch on bass, but it features the twin guitar attack of Aldo Miola and um, Larry Coriel. And they both play incredibly on it. You get a Larry Corrigal solo and an Aldo Miolo solo. And then they duel. And this track is 11 minutes long. Uh, and it's in one of the most intense time sinks you've ever heard. Proper jazz fusion. So that finishes off the album. So if I haven't sold that for you, I don't want, know what more I can say. But yeah, go and check that one out. He followed that up with another album, which I'd like to mention because uh, it's, it's another fantastic album called Big City. There we go. All right? Absolutely brilliant album. Again, starts off with the funk, this time with the power, Tower of Power horn section. A uh, whole bunch of people. He's also got Brian Auger and the Brian Auger's Oblivion Express all on the same track on this track, Big City. Very funky, very intense. Um, then you get um, like, a, or like a sort of R&B song uh, with Linda Tillery uh, on vocals, backed up by Herbie Hancock, Ray Gomez, Paul Jackson on bass, uh, and Pat Gleason on synth, all right? Really beautiful song, the lineup's incredible on here. And then you get the first of um, two interludes, one's called Egypt, which is uh, Lenny White with a very, very young Marcus Miller. I think Marcus Miller in this, it's 1977, he could only about be about 15 years old, doing some incredibly weird but funky slap bass. Then you get an orchestral interlude by Mike Gibbs. I, I'd like to do a video about Mike Gibbs because Mike Gibbs was the go-to arranger in the jazz fusion period. He did Apocalypse for John McGoughlin and a f loads of other things. Uh, and he did a, a, some incredible albums himself, which I, I might get into. So you get this orchestral interlude and it goes into a, tr a track called Rapid Transit, which relates very closely to the mate and drive off the previous album, which has got a Herbie Hancock on keyboards, Ray Gomez on guitar, Verdine White's very funky bass playing. He's actually down as very funky bass bass playing on the here. And then Pat Gleason on um uh, Arp String Ensemble. And then the, the side one finishes up with, with a percussion, overdub percussion piece. It's only a minute long by Lenny White. Um flip it on to side two, you get Dreams Come and Go Away, which is uh a sort of Jimi Hendrix style rock track um, with Neil Sean from Journey turning in some incredible Hendrix type guitar playing. And then um, the album goes into sort of the big prog epic. There's a big prog epic on here called The Enchanted Pool Suite. And the lineup is Jerry Goodman violin, Jan Hammer acoustic piano, Pat Gleason synth along with Miroslav Vitas on acoustic bass, Michael Gibbs on acoustic piano, um, Dave Earl Johnson on congas. And this piece, the Enchanted Pool Suite, is in three parts. And for me, it's bringing back Jerry Goodman and uh, Jan Hammer together. And it's absolutely incredible. And, and Jan plays some incredible things. I, I, if Jan's on an album for me, it's I love the album. That's always been like, I can't think of an album that Jan's on that I don't like. I, I love Jan Hammer's playing because I just love the sound of his playing, whatever the context. That's really incredible. And then um, right at the end, there's a track called um, um, We Meet Again, which is a sort of Miles Davis funky track. It's got um, Brian Auger on organ, Neil Sean on guitar, Ray Gomez, Alex Blake. Um, this album's, they, this is when fusion was was king, and it's got a full orchestra on it. It's, you know, huge string section. It's got a flute section. Absolutely great album. So yeah, fusion fans, this Venusian summer and um, big city by Lenny White. You've got to get them. Absolutely brilliant. Um, go and check them out, and then come back in the comments if you haven't, and tell me how brilliant they are, or argue with me, whatever you know. But. Uh, you know, stick something in the comments. I love the comments and uh, like and subscribe and I will see you soon on the next video. Thank you very much.